What's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all what I think about the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 1500 pound ATV and motorcycle lift. All right, let's get it. Alright, YouTube, what's good, y'all? As y'all can see, I'm somewhat back to uploading videos on a regular basis. But today, as I stated in the intro, we're going to be talking about this Pittsburgh 1500 pound ATV and motorcycle lift and what I think about it. As you all already know, I now have a 2024 Gold Glide to add to the collection over here with the booster. For some of the future work that I'm gonna be doing on this bike, I needed a lift. Anyway, after seeing many, many videos of other Harley riders having the scissor lifts or whatever lift of your choice you may have, I knew I was gonna need to get one. And I would look at these videos kind of like, dude, you trust your bike being up on that thing? in a stable but for certain tasks a jack is definitely needed so i went and got a jack a la this harbor freight jack now harbor freight does get a kind of a bad rap when it comes to some of their products i know they have some good products and then i've heard horror stories about some of their other products so guess what i went out and got a damn lift jack whatever you want to call it so I can use it with my road glide. And let's just hope that my bike doesn't get damn destroyed using this thing. And it works. To be honest though, y'all, I've already used it because I need to know how to, to work it. And I'm gonna tell you, the jack works perfectly fine. And forgive me, yeah, I'm smoking a stick cigar. For those of you who don't know what a stick is, yes, I smoke cigars. But this jack is great. It's super rock solid, sturdy, easy to maneuver, and everything else that you can imagine. I was definitely hesitant at first using this thing. Number one, because I have never ever in my life jacked up a Harley. And I didn't know where in the world to really jack it until I looked out here and I'm like, oh, just put a knee for the frame. <laughs> Did that and I got it up with no effort. But I do notice on a lot of videos, people use the other little scissor jack. It's like a little square one and you gotta put in like maybe a little uh, socket wrench or something like that and use it to spin it to get it up. This thing, way less work, way less effort. All right, y'all, so before I show y'all how good this jack actually is, I'm gonna show y'all how to use it. Also, this jack does require some assembly, not much. You just have to put on the uh, handle, the foot pedal, and you also have to install the hydraulic pump that's right there and also this uh safety latch bar anyway this foot pedal is how you actually lift the jack so you see it has a full range of motion and it's very very easy this other little pedal here is how it's a release all you have to do is push it and it will come down very easy on its own so there's no need to tap and keep on tapping the release all right this bar here is a safety bar that way you don't have to have your bike just relying on the hydraulic pressure in this pump and it's a safety bar so it latches into these steel little locks here that way you can let it down a little bit and let the pressure pretty much and weight be focused on this bar into the lock all right now i'm going to show you all how good this jack actually is and I don't understand why more people have not used it. Or maybe many people have and just haven't made videos, but enough talking. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Okay, y'all. I should have had my daughter come down and record this for me while I was doing this step, but I made it work. I'm using my wireless mic. So we got this. Anyway, as you can see, we do have wheels on this. And I did forget to show y'all one thing once you get this in place. These little knobs here, you turn them clockwise and it'll go down to the ground to pretty much lock this jack in place, all right? So first, obviously, you want to line it up 
pay attention to where you have your jack placed. You want about an inch and a half on each side just to make sure the bike is balanced on the jack properly. All right, so that's about right where I want to. So I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to check underneath here just check to see. All right, that's not too bad. So I'll probably go in a little bit more, figure out where you want it. Once again, just go ahead and turn your, your locks kind of clockwise. So it's on the pavement, keep the jack from rolling. Double check once again, I can push it to make some adjustments. It's not too hard, but it will not move once you get the bike up on it, all right? So foot pedal. Looking pretty good to me. Now what I'm gonna do is hold the handlebar. Each time you do it, you'll notice the bike will start flattening out a little. But when I do that, I'm still paying attention to where my frame is. All right, as you can see, just take your time. I'm still holding on to the handlebar. As I lift it, I got it up on it. I'm going to walk around to the other side just to make sure that I have a good even amount. Yep, good to go. I'll show you guys that as well. Look, the bike isn't going anywhere. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more because I want to rest it in one of these rivets. So as you can see here, I wanted it up a little bit higher so I don't have to have all of the bike weight on the hydraulic pump for the bike. So what I'm going to do now is hold this in place, hit the lowering thing, the release latch or whatever you want to call it, the lowering lever, just a little bit so this locks into here. So now I have the pressure actually on the safety lock and not the hydraulic pump itself. All right, as you can see, I couldn't really show you guys and I hope that you were able to see it pretty good when I was setting it up. After you get your jack into place where you want it, you're going to turn these lock knobs clockwise until the nut comes out and hits the ground to keep this jack in place. Also, if you're doing other work, this handle comes out really easy. Pull out the cotter pin or the safety pin that's here. Pop that out. Take out this bolt right here. And this whole handle will come out. That way it's not in your way. Because if you look at it right now and you're trying to do some things, that handle can really be in your way when you're trying to do some of other work. Anyway, as you can see, I'm going to show you guys, you see how much room I have in regards to the frame, the jack. I'm going to go over this side. And you can see, so I have a good amount of room, about an inch and a half on each side. And that's what you want. You want to keep your kickstand down as well. And look, y'all, this bike is rock solid. It is not going anywhere. It is sturdy. I don't understand why I see so many other videos and people use those other scissor jacks, the smaller ones. Maybe they just have a better reputation or reliability rating. But this thing to me is way easier. Although I have not used those other jacks, my thing is dude has a foot pedal. I don't have to sit down there with my hand and spin, spin it around to try to get the jack raised. Go get this jack from Harbor Freight if you're looking for a jack and it's only 130 bucks. Also remember, this is not a car jack. Can you use it for that? Maybe. I wouldn't try. But this is a motorcycle and ATV jack. But if you have a cruiser and you need a jack, look no further. All right. Now I'm going to show you all how to lower this. I've seen a couple of videos where people want to go ahead and keep on pumping this and tapping it. No need. And I hope I could do this while I'm actually filming. But I'm going to go ahead and take, hold the handlebar. Once again, I'm actually going to turn it to the right as I'm lowering it. That way, when it goes down and leans over to the left side, my kickstand is already down. And it'll just fall right over to the kickstand. Once again, I'm going to double check. Kickstand is out. All the way. Yes, it is. Grab my handlebar. I'm going to turn it to the left. You necessarily don't have to turn it to the left. I just do it because when the bike is on this kickstand or just your feet stand, that Harley calls it, it's a goddamn kickstand. So what I got to do first is 
raise it back up some. Damn. So I can take some of the pressure off of those locks. And like I said, this takes no strength at all. None. So what you want to do now is to lower it. You see this little metal clamp right here? It locks right onto there. Yesterday when I tried to lower the bike, I didn't have that lowered. And the bike actually, the uh, bar actually hit the bottom part of the bike. And the bike wanted to start tilting over off the lift. And I was like, oh shit. So thankfully I caught it, and uh, that's why this little clamp is here to lock that safety bar in place. So once that's locked in place and you got it up, grab your handlebar, not necessary, but I do it, and push. Look at this. That's it, and it's done. What you would do after that, if you want to move the jack, you just go ahead and turn these two locking knobs kind of clockwise, get the bolt up off the floor, and you can just pretty much pull the jack, roll it on out the way. It's really easy to roll, very, very maneuverable, and this jack is super easy. I like it. I love it a lot. So you see, kickstand is down, good to go. Hence. That's why I turned my front wheel to the left. I'm not going to be pulling the jack out because I'm about to do some more work. So I'm going to end up lifting it right back up. But I hope y'all like this video. If any of y'all are looking for a jack, I highly, highly will recommend this Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 1,500 pound capacity ATV and motorcycle jack or lift. This is called the lift, so not a jack. Like I said, though, if you're looking for a jack, look no further. I highly, highly recommend this Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 1,500 pound capacity motorcycle and ATV lift or jack. I say tomato, you say tomato. Hey, jack lift, whatever. And like I said, I went with the steel one. This was only 130 bucks. They have an aluminum one, which is 220 bucks, I think, or 230. Put it to you this way, it's about a hundred bucks more. So I went with this one. That's all I got for y'all today, all right? If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and we're gonna be in touch, all right? Salute. Only the fans. OTF, nigga.